Alright, hello and welcome dudes and dudettes to Valheim. Dino Dutch Ticks and Tricks. Dino Dutt here. Um, I do have the volume for the game lowered a little bit because there was some weird screeching sound, so I apologize. But I'm going to show you where to find food when you first spawn into Valheim. Behind these sacrificial stones, you will find that there's like a couple mushrooms as well as some raspberries back here. So it's not much, but it's a little bit to get you started so that way you can go out and hunt some food and whatnot just to keep you going because you are going to need food in Valheim. I decide right now I don't believe there is any reason not to really worry about like hunger, um, but you will need it for stamina. Uh, if you see right here, I am hitting this rock. It is giving me unarmed skills, so you can train your fist, your axes, all that good stuff on inanimate objects. The only ones you can't really do it on is wood cutting, because you actually have to be cutting a tree, and blocking with shields. You actually have to block incoming attacks because I mean, you have to actually take an attack. Uh, anyway, so what we're gonna go ahead and show you is I'm gonna make an axe real quick here. It's just gonna take me a quick second to get some wood and some stone together because what I'm gonna go ahead and do it is chop down a tree. Now, you're gonna run into these other trees like that white and black one right there and it is gonna take a stronger axe by the looks of it. Every time I've tried to chop them so far, it does take something a little bit stronger. All right, and sorry for that weird cut, guys. I got in a little bit of a fight with this one thing, so I didn't want you guys to wait through that. So as you can see, I am showing you that you can level your axes on this rock, but you will notice it is axes. It's not actually your wood cutting. You will need to level wood cutting on a tree like here. So we're going to take on this beech tree. As you can see, wood cutting has already gone up to level one. Uh, I've noticed anytime you do use skills, it does take stamina to actually level skills. So if you drain your stamina completely, you will not level your skill. Um, I'm not sure why. It does kind of make some sense. you got to be doing some kind of action that requires him actually being okay and stuff. Watch out when the trees are falling because they can hurt and kill you. But as you can see right here, I am going to go ahead and go up this log. If I can fire out a way. Uh, jumping you can get by getting that. But as you can see, I'm going to take this log, I'm going to push it back, and then roll into that tree. So as you can see, it did 9 damage, I think is what it was. 5.6, 6.9, and just, I'm going to keep going ahead and do this over and over and over until you guys can see that you can bring down other trees, including those white and black trees, guys, with another log. It makes it super easy and convenient in the beginning, especially when you take another log and you bash those white and uh, black logs into the trees and whatnot because they're going to produce things like tables and stuff, and that's going to raise your comfort level in your home. So as you can see, that tree was knocked down, and it's rolling down. I don't ever go get this tree, so there's no point in worrying about it, but that's to show you guys you can take down a tree with another log or tree that's already been felled. It just kind of depends how you guys like to say it. As you can see, that that log did hurt me as I did cut it, so you got to be a little bit wary, guys. Be careful. When you're in the beginning, your stamina, health, and stuff is really low, so make sure to eat that food and get some more. Obviously, logs are going to give you the most wood that you're going to get for building your stuff like bases and stuff. You don't have to build anything too extravagant or serious. Um, your damage will go up. I believe for unarmed combat and axes and stuff, it doubles when you hit 100. So keep that in mind, guys. You're going to get a lot of good stuff. Boars and deer are plentiful in the beginning area from what I've noticed. So... Just to let you guys know, that's how you get food. Super easy. Nothing too crazy. But you know what? If you guys like what you're watching, please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your families, and I will catch you dudes and dudettes in the next video. Stay classy.